Good morning to you both. This is impressive. We're showing you the exterior, one angle anyway, of uh, the current property. But you have to understand the history that goes on here. Take a look at how this looked back in December of 1942 when the fishing industry was uh, ruling the roost here. And fish from here were being shipped all across the country. That's 1942. Now look at this image of how Alta C and Burton 58 looks now. Yes, those are solar panels on the roof. Property transformed into a center for innovation. One of the many innovations you will learn about when you visit this property is this. From Greener Port Solutions, you wonder, well, is this some kind of water ride or something? No, it is not. According to Jimmy Eliopius, who is the CEO and Barry Sedlick of California Business Ventures, this device is designed to remove the pollution from major cargo ships and cruise ships. Cruise ship, row roads, and even uh, uh, big container ships. This is basically what it's for. This is the AMAC system. The AMAC system, the Amer uh, Advanced Maritime Emissions Control System. Let us show folks some uh, drone footage to see how large this device on a barge actually is. Um, you've got this this tower here, but there are other things behind it. Oh, definitely. You you got to think of it as a giant uh, vacuum cleaner for cruise for uh, cargo ships. Basically, a cargo ship comes into the port. It either has to plug in or it has to take our technology to remove the uh, pollution out of the air. And in this image, you see it connected to a ship extracting this pollution. Barry, how does that work? It, uh, uh, Jimmy describes it as a vacuum cleaner. Is that what's well, happening? That's exactly what it is. It's the uh, a, a connecting point that goes over the stack of the ship. The ships are running their auxiliary engines, which are uncontrolled in terms of emissions uh, 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 that come from them. So this basically allows the uh, ships to be compliant with California law to reduce emissions down to an acceptable level. It's an impressive project. We have some other footage to show how it actually comes to life and then goes aboard a ship. And Jim, can you continue to explain to us how this works? Well, it pulls it. It's a, it's a barge, so a tug takes it to next to a ship that's just arriving, uh, usually container ships. So as they come in, uh, this is positioned next to the ship. Uh, the big uh, tower uh, basically has the ductwork that goes over the stack. As it was, was said, it's a, uh, like a 200 horsepower vacuum cleaner. It sucks those emissions off the stack, and then it treats them on the barge itself, takes out all the soot and some of the other pollution that causes uh, smog. Jimmy, what we've read about the Port of Los Angeles being so concerned about emissions, I would imagine people need this and want this right away. People need this in California. They need it all over the world. This is basically a technology that can be put into any port in the world. We can uh, build within six months and have it uh, start anywhere. All right, here's where you can learn more about this equipment and other innovations. That's why this is the Center for Innovation here at the... Port of Los Angeles, San Pedro, J. Uh, Clemens, this is just one of how many incredible ideas that are happening here. Oh, we have over 20 tenants that operate out of Alta Sea currently, and all are developing sustainable solutions from the ocean to combat climate change. That's amazing. All right, something new here and, and on an historic property that's now uh, making new history when it comes to our ocean and our environment. Back to you in the studio. Interesting. All right, Gail, thank you. Still a lot of news.